name and town to 081-200-6659. Hashtag learn on one. Invite learning in. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Precious and I'm with my friend here. Say hi. hi. The theme for this week is public transport. But before we begin, let us sanitize our hands. Let's wrap it out. Then we spread out our hands so that we don't touch the next the person next to you. And we do it in front as well. You must remember to social distance and when you are going out always wear your mask. In today's lesson we are going to talk about capital letters, punctuation, plural nouns, and grammar. Let's now turn to page 21, where we are going to talk about capital letters and full stops. A full stop, then capital letters okay these are our capital letters and we are given sentences here which are meddled up which means the words are not in order so we want to start by looking at the first sentence and because we are doing capital letters and full stops, you must remember to start a sentence with a capital letter and at the end of each given sentence, you must always put a full stop. Okay. We have words, butterfly, the, set, flower, the, and on. We are going to use these words to come up with a sentence. And in this case, our sentence will be the butterfly set on the flower. Then we put a full stop. And we started our sentence with a capital letter. I can also do the second one with you. We have words like used, then rain. My umbrella, the I and in. Okay. So here we we'll come up with a sentence I used my umbrella in the rain. And remember to put a full stop. And every time you are writing I, you must write a capital letter, even if it's in the 
middle of the sentence. We don't write a small letter I in the middle of the sentence. Now, grade twos, I want you to do number three, number four, number five from the booklet on your own. That's all about capital letters and full stops. Thank you. Let's now move on to page 22, where we are going to talk about plural nouns. When we say plural nouns, it means more than one. As, as it is written in your booklet, making more than one. So there will be two, there can be three, okay. In some plural nouns, we add S, okay? Just add S to make the noun plural. For example, we have a bet. So we say bet. However, we have some nouns where we cannot just add S. Like if a word ends with S. Like here you add E, S. Some plural nouns you must add E, S. Let's give an example. We have bus. What is the plural for bus? You put buses. Okay? Then we go to some Nouns where you must add I E S. Add I E S. Especially to those nouns ending with Y. I'm going to give one example. We have berry. Okay? This is berry. What do we do here? We write berries. Okay. So I want you to go through the words given or the nouns given and change them to plural nouns. So you do from number one up to ten. Grade threes. And now let's move on to page 23 where we are given sentences and we must choose or we must identify plural nouns. Grade threes. Let's do number one. We are told to draw a box around each plural noun that you can see from a given sentence. Okay? Let me wrap here. Okay. Let's do number one. Hair pencils. I want you to correct in your booklet. You can also correct yours. Good. Correct it. Write pencils there. Hair pencils. So it's supposed to be here. Pencils where or missing. Okay. In this case, pencils is our plural noun. So we draw a box like this. Okay, now we move on to another one. We have ma uh, number two here, the boy, the boy jumped. Across 
the rock the rocks okay so in this case the word or the noun in plural is rocks so you put a box like that so i want you to check all the plural nouns and put boxes in your booklet that's all about plural nouns grade threes thank you let's now turn to page 24 where we are going to form words using phonics and i have phonic words here this is j i also have v then w and p. this is p then n okay so we want to replace the beginning sound to form a new word as you can see i have different pictures here so we want to form words by replacing uh, the beginning sound with one of these letters okay we have this what is it it's a pet so we come and check here do we have for pet yes we put then it will be a pet and we also have this picture what can you see don't confuse and say we have a pet and a pet no this is a vet a person who takes care of animals so we check how do we write vet we know how to write vet we go and check here at the letters then we take v to make it a vet the word vet so this is what i want you to do identify the pictures from your booklet they are in your booklet you identify them and finish the remaining three form a new word by replacing these letters at the beginning of one of these words you check where does n fit you come here or here or here you just choose where you can come up with a word which goes together with the picture given that's all about phonics grade 2s thank you let's now turn to page 25 where we are going to talk about much or more where do we use much where do we use more okay we use much when we are talking about uncountable nouns and where do we use more you use more when you are talking about the things that you can count those are countable nouns okay i have examples given at number 1 there is a question how dash books did you buy from our booklet go to number 1 it's written how dash books did you buy we can count books so we say 
how many books did you buy and this is a sentence but it's a question so at the end of the sentence you put a question mark okay let's do number two together how dash water is there can you count water no so you write how much water is there it's also a question so we put a question mark at the end of the sentence now i want you to do number three up to ten on your own from our booklet that's all about much or more thank you so much for the lesson now it's time to sanitize once again let's play our hands let's rub side inside and let's spread out our hands so that we don't touch the net the person next to us and we do it in front as well okay remember to social distance and every time you are going out remember to wear your mask before we say goodbye let's say bye to our friend soshi What is social distancing? Hi everyone, I am Zoshi and I am back. It literally just means that you need to stay home all the time and keep away from crowded places. And remember to keep your distance from your friends too. Everybody stay safe. Yay! Till next time. ShopRite has always been here for you and our promise to bring you low prices on what you need most will never change. Like 3 kilos of Polana macaroni, only $69.99 and 2 liters of Nola sunflower oil, just $46.99. Only at ShopRite. Lower prices you can trust, always. One stop, one safer shop.
Simbonda kuthandi noro kukuthi mburu kwa Mama Ongwe meme Ongwe toya tango mungara mwenye Mungitima wanjongwe ulimo Ongwe namba wanu ngashi tache Meme wanjongwe wotangwe Otutongere opo tukare tuwa pame kape punda Nando peno mkaga meme wato hotu tela kere Umsi mane kwa meme tandi kuipura mungi mawaje Umwe toya tango kini maige yomuyuni Kandi nyasi kundi kuthi mwe I'm, feel, I'm feeling so bad because of you I have been arrested. We are trying to sell to provide our kids with food, but the police they come to arrest us. I was literally apprehended in Independence Avenue. I mean, there was no prior communications with, uh, with the police or with Bon or Ben and Amelia. These guys literally just apprehended us on surprise. And when you are talking, in a manner that is exaggerated about brutality in this country, I should ask you in which country you live. Yes, I can confirm that uh, indeed there were two cell phones that were found after a search was conducted at the cells that the fish rod uh, accused us staying. Do you understand the amount of money that the government has spent on the fight against COVID-19? Could they have spent 300 million on tracing people and managing people? Is that even possible? Win free airtime with One Africa TV. Share your comments on the channel. WhatsApp your feedback, name and town to 081-200-6659. One Africa TV, it just gets better. When you're saying things that degrade women, for me, number one, I am not there because that is Amen. basically what I don't, I don't believe in. I don't stand for things that degrade women. What do you think we can add? What do we, what can we put in the basket? Ah, uh, first of all, let's put Blossom back in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the person like it, man. Let's do a song. Let's do something. Just let's like that. Let's collaborate. Let's collaborate. Just yeah. Africans were claiming us. Yes, exactly. Years. To yeah. the rest of the world, they belong to us. <laughs> Namibia, Baba, Namibia. I'll help you carry on. Creating music and, and putting some stuff out for the people who've been supporting me, that's definitely something that, that's next on my list.
know the world is a crazy place right now. But don't panic. Take a breath. Slow down. Or better yet, stop completely. We'll still be here when everything settles down. In this time of uncertainty, look to nature. She has all the answers, you know. We're not only giving ourselves time to reset, we're giving nature time to restore, revive, restart. We're saving ourselves and we're saving the world. Stay home now so that we can welcome you to Namibia again soon. Yes, the world's a crazy place right now, but don't despair. Find the joy. Cherish hope. Breathe. Take a moment. Take a few. And someday soon you'll once again be able to stay in wonder at this magnificent view. The world's a crazy place right now, but don't worry, we'll still be here. We'll see you again soon. Prevention is important. Help prevent the spread of illness and keep yourself and others well. Hand washing is one of the most effective ways of preventing the spread of germs. Wash your hands regularly with soap and hot water, scrubbing your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. Hand sanitizers can be used but are not recommended as a substitute for hand washing. Use sanitizers in addition to hand washing or in a situation where soap and water are not available. To avoid spreading germs, limit sharing of personal items such as utensils, cups, and dishes. Your skin acts as a barrier to germs, but your eyes, nose, and mouth are more vulnerable. Wash your hands thoroughly before touching your face, eating, or drinking. Avoid physical contact with others, including handshakes, fist bumps, high fives, hugs, and kisses. Social distancing is deliberately increasing the physical space between people to avoid spreading germs. While regulations may vary by country or area, the best guideline for social distancing is to maintain a distance of six feet from others. Germs can travel through the air from one person to another. If you sneeze or cough, do so into a tissue or the inside of your elbow to prevent the spread of germs. Avoid contact with ill individuals and insist they isolate themselves until they have recovered and are symptom free. Clean and sanitize frequently touched common surfaces and high traffic areas in your home and workplace several times a day. Share these guidelines with others and help prevent the spread of illness and maintain a healthy environment. An ounce of prevention is worth a ton of cure. Win free airtime with hashtag learn on one. Share your comments on the lessons. WhatsApp your feedback, name and town to 081-200-6659. Hashtag learn on one. Invite learning in. Namibia, Africa. My name is Adora. I'm the king of Kurungwa ki straight as a tandi Kandine biliki hake mi kwesa pa 